Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing this really cute French side French braided hairstyle that goes into a really pretty braided side bun. Um, it is really cute um, and I hope you guys enjoy, so let's jump right into it. So the first thing you want to do is just start off by brushing through your hair to make sure you don't have any tangles. Okay, then in the back of your hair, um, whichever side you want the bun on, that's the side you want to have the least hair. So towards the back, you're going to, on this side, you're going to part off that hair. So this side I have the most hair, and this side I have the least amount of hair, and this is the side the bun's going to be on. So just like on the side here, you're going to make a part. So you have the least amount of hair here and the most here. So this is the center, so it's like an off-center part. Then what you're going to do, we're going to be French braiding the thickest section. So first I'm just going to take a clip and clip this side off. And then I'm going to, I have a little bit of bangs on this side, so I'm going to section that out. And then I'm going to start my French braid, because I'm going to French braid all of this hair all the way around. And if you don't know how to French braid, um, I will link a couple videos down below. Um, one is showing you like how to French braid, and the other one, how to French braid your hair in one part. Um, that is kind of how I show you how I hold my hands towards the back of my head when French braiding, because I'm going to have to change hand positions when I'm um, French braiding the back part of my hair. So I will link those two down below in case you don't know how to French braid. So you're just going to French braid all of this hair, wrapping it around your head, and then you're going to braid all the way down and secure it with a clear rubber band. So I'm going to do that. I'm just changing my hand positions now so I can French braid the rest of the hair towards the back better. Okay, so I just finished adding my last piece of hair. Now you just want to finish braiding all the way down, and I'm going to braid this over my shoulder, just so it's easier, and the, the braid kind of flows there, because when we take it up into the bun, the bun's going to be over here, so I want the hair to kind of flow there so I don't have any big lumps. You just want to braid it down as far as you can, because when we braid all of the hair together, you want to make sure the hair is braided as far as you can so you can have a nice pretty braid. And then just tie it off with a clear rubber band. And you don't have to make it too tight because we are going to be taking these little rubber bands out towards the end. Now what you're going to do is unclip this hair. I'm going to again section out my bangs because I don't want these incorporated with the, bang, with the braid. But um, if you want, you can incorporate your hair, your bangs with the braid if you have any. And I'm actually just going to clip these on the other side, whoop, just so they don't get in the way. Okay, so I know it looks ridiculous, but I don't want to incorporate my bangs into the braid. So now what you're going to do, by your ear, you're going to section off this hair here. And then you're just going to clip this hair out of the way just for now. And then what you're going to do, you're going to start your French braid again at the top. So you section off a thin section, and you're going to French braid all of this hair just straight down. Okay, once you have finished French braiding that section of hair, you can um, take your clip out and now we're going to start incorporating some of this hair into our French braid going towards the back of your head now. And you're just going to French braid some of this hair. You don't want to French braid all of it. You want to make sure you leave a section of hair because we are going to be braiding that piece and then braid all of the hair together. So I'll show you how big a section I'm going to leave. Okay, so I'm going to leave this size section. It's not a huge section because we just want a small braid just to give it different texture into the braid we're going to make and then put into our bun. 
So it's just a small section of hair. You can leave a bigger section if you want, but that's completely up to you. Then you're going to finish braiding this hair as far as you can down as well. And then again, you're going to tie it off with a little rubber band. Okay, I'm going to unclip my bangs now. And with that little section of hair that we left out of this French braid, you want to braid that um, all the way down and tie that off with another um, clear rubber band. Okay, so I finished braiding that piece of hair all the way down and tied it off with a little elastic. Now what you're going to do, take your three sections, this braid, the braid we just made, and the braid towards the back, and you're going to now braid these three braids together. And it gives a really cool effect. So just braid those all the way down. Okay, and once you have braided all the way down to where you don't have any more braid um, left to work with, you just have like your ends, you're going to tie that, tie that off. Okay, now what you're going to do, you're going to take all of the little elastic bands out of the end. So just remove them. That's why you don't have to tie them too tightly because you're taking them out. Okay, once you've taken it all out, you can leave the hairstyle like this. This is also really cute. You've got the French braid on the side here, the one in the back, and then you have this really pretty side braid. You can leave it like that. That's up to you. Or you can do what I'm going to do now, which is um, twisting it into a pretty side bun here. So what you're going to do, you're going to take your braid and you're going to lift it up on the side here and you're going to kind of just wrap it and twist it around itself like this and then when you're at the end of your braid you want to tuck that under the braided bun because you don't want to see that oh I hope you guys can see what I was doing so you just want to like twist it onto your head and tuck the um, rubber band and end under the twisted braid then you're going to take bobby pins and you're going to bobby pin this down on your head so it's nice and secure. And you want to bobby pin it in a way that you don't, um, you don't see the rubber band that tied this off. So just bobby pin the hair over it. Okay, as you can see, I have my rubber band peeking through here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tuck it back under the braid and try and bobby pin it underneath because I don't want to see that. So I'm going to take some hair and bobby pin it in. Oh, if it'll stay. There we go. And you just want to keep bobby pinning until the bun feels secure to you because you don't want it to feel like it's about to fall and unravel because that is a terrible feeling like your hair is going to come undone any minute. But you just want to just keep bobby pinning and use as many bobby pins as you need to make sure it feels secure to you. And if you're doing this on somebody's hair, just ask them if it feels secure to them so they don't feel like it's going to come undone. Okay, that feels pretty secure to me. So as you can see, it's a really pretty braided bun on the side there. You have your French braid going back, and then you have this French braid that is wrapping around towards the back. Okay, so that is the finished hairstyle. As you can see, I really like this hairstyle, and I hope you guys like it too. Um, comment below and let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!